Hey everyone, it's Nadi and this is the Daily Espresso. Short shots of big ideas and we're gonna cap off uh, our two days in uh, on the Gold Coast um, for what we've been doing, um, obviously working on our mastermind, with our mastermind group, um, working on ideas collaboration, not competition like we spoke about yesterday. And, and for more information, jump on yesterday's uh, video and you'll see what we're, while we're up here and what we're doing. Um, we're at the beautiful Southport Yacht Club, and Chris, did you get the Southport Yacht oh, Club? I got the back? Southport. And hopefully, we can still show you how awesome this place is, um, given the, the 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 shortness of light. Now, the reason we're doing it right about now is we've just finished, and um, we've got a couple of hours just having a, a, a beer with the uh, with the guys that we've had awesome session with today. Um, before we uh, we jet off back to the, uh, the more super. colder climate of Melbourne. Um, yeah, look, those those boats they're absolutely schmick, aren't they? Um, what are we going to talk about today, Chris? New ideas, new being I open to being new open ideas. Being open to new ideas and you're going to win. Now, or be open to doing things differently. Now, what do we mean by that and why do we think it's important? So everything we've been doing for the last uh, eight hours, seven hours, has been around collaboration, not competition. What I mean by that is we've been sharing ideas, we've been, um, uh, you know, sharing our success over the last three months and over the last year, our failures, our wins, what we are doing better that we weren't doing before, and then we're listening. We're listening to um, ideas from others. We're listening to suggestions from others. We're being put in the hot seat, and uh, you know we're spending 45 minutes of being grilled, and then we're, we're you know we're doing that. And that grilling's being done in you know for all the right reasons, and. The one thing that happens, and I think, Chris, what did you just say after, uh, what did you just say just before we did this? I've been doing it all wrong. I've been doing it all wrong. Um, you know, you've got, to be, you've got to be proud of where you've come as a business. You've got to be proud of what you've achieved as a business. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, and you've got to be proud of all your success. What you believe has been your success. And we're not going to uh, negate what you believe and what you term as being success. So there's definitely, um, be proud of that. But what we want you to do, and you know, what we do, and what we want everyone else to do as business owners, is to open themselves to the fact that they probably can be doing what they're doing better. And that's where the doing things differently um, really comes into it. And then the other part of it is, so not only, don't let, you know, let the guard down a bit and let others, involve others that have some cred, who are you know, similar to you, or maybe trailed the path, um, uh, you know, prior, you know, before you and have a listen to what they say. All right? Don't be afraid to share what's going on in your business because everyone wants to help. All right? And that's where the collaboration over competition principle and concept is so much more powerful um, than, than everyone just you know, being private and, 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 and com competing against everyone and thinking that everyone wants to steal their ideas and what they're doing. So through the, over the last seven, eight hours, what we've been doing is sharing intellectual property, sharing value and you know, sharing our ideas, sharing what we're doing. Now, the others in the room aren't going to sit there and go and replicate what we do. And you know what? If they do, we do that collaboratively and we do that together. In the next three months, we get together and we say, okay, so how did it work for you? What did you do well? That, you know, what are you starting, stopping or, or continuing um, to do that uh, we spoke about last last three months and how's that working for you and you can learn from the success and the failures of others and that's what we've sort of done so open yourself open or open yourself to the opportunity of and the idea of doing things differently for your own success and if you do and if you do you might well might just just be you know be successful enough um, and we're definitely not there yet to get one of those bad boys yeah. Right? And, you know, I mean, okay, it's material, right? And, and, and you know, wealth to people is not all about material, um, material uh, possessions. And, and let's, let's let, you know, let's be, um, uh, let's be frank with that. But, you know, it's nice. And, you know, to, for success, success for some people means being able to afford things that make you and your, ha your family and your, your, your kids and your, you know, your significant others um, happy with the, what they've achieved personally and professionally. You know, and, and, and as advisors ourselves, we want that for the people that we work with. We want that for, for the community that, um, that are tuning into this. And we want that for our peers, hence why we do trek out. You know, we do take two days or a day and a half away from, from, um, from what we do day in, day out to concentrate on not only our business, but to concentrate on the businesses of those we care about who also care about us in our collaborative mastermind community. Chris, you want to add any awesomeness? I reckon that's pretty good. Guys, this is the Daily Espresso.
Short shots of big ideas coming from the Southport Yacht Club in, uh, on the Gold Coast in Queensland. Um, as the sun goes down, we uh, wish everyone an awesome weekend. I hope you've smashed it, got one step closer to reaching success. Uh, you're achieving amazing wealth. You're happy with where you're going. And we'll catch up with you guys on Monday. Cheers.